Hi crafters, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Altea. Today I have a Mother's Day video where I will show you how you can crochet this mom pillow. Where I have the word mom and a heart just underneath. And at the bottom in cross stitch, I have cross stitched the word, the letters EST 2021, as this is a gift for a mother who is celebrating her first Mother's Day. It's a little bit of a lengthy video because it's a crochet along where I will show you how to crochet each bobbin row. For the words at the bottom, you may go ahead and change it for a name or a word of your choice. You may go ahead and choose the colors of your own liking. This pillow is made of two panels, the front panel and the back panel, which is just single crochet. And they are single crocheted together at the side. It is filled with polyfill since it's a little bit smaller than the usual pillow. Without further ado, let's get hooked on our mum pillow. For this project, I will be using a 4.5mm hook and 100% acrylic yarn. I have two kinds of colors and I have two bows each as I will be using two strands at the same time for a fuller look. I will start off with a slip knot and chain 46 chains. Once you have 46 chains, single crochet into the second chain from the hook. To single crochet, go through the loop, yarn over, pull through, having two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through. Repeat this single crochet once into each chain. You shall be crocheting 45 single crochets per row. Keep single crocheting until the end of your row. Once you have crocheted until the end, you would have worked your first row. Before we turn our work, chain 1 and single crochet into each stitch until the other end.
Be sure to work your last chain stitch. Be careful and always count your stitches to grow equally. Repeat this until you would have 14 rows of single crochets. This will be our space to cross stitch a word or as in my case, I have established 2021. Now that you have crocheted 14 rows, you may start working on the bubble stitch rows. For our first row, we will require to single crochet 22 before we work our first bubble. Once you crocheted 22 single crochets, create your bobbin. To create a bobbin, you would yarn over, go through the loop, yarn over, pull the hook through, yarn over, and pull through two loops, having also two loops on your hook. You will yarn over again, through the loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops, having now three loops on your hook. Yarn over, through the loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, now having four loops on your hook. And once more, yarn over, through the loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, having five loops on your hook. Yarn over, and pull through all the loops. And that is how you create a bubble stitch. Now to make the bubble poof out, we will single crochet into the next stitch after creating each bubble. For this row, we will only require one bubble. So now I will single crochet until the end. Then chain one and turn. Facing the front panel, we will just single crochet all the way through. When you single crochet around the bobble, you will single crochet into two loops.
for the second bubble stitch row, single crochet in the first 21 stitches. Once the 21 single crochets are done, we will work two bobbles separated by a single crochet. So for the first bobble, we will yarn over into the stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, repeating this until you have five loops on your hook. I will now single crochet once and make another bobble. Now single crochet until the end. Once at the end, chain 1 and single crochet through the next row and I will be back to show you your third bobber row. For our third bobber row, single crochet in first 19 stitches. After 19 single crochets are done, work a bobble stitch. Single crochet in the next 5 stitches. Work another bobble. Now single crochet until the end.
chain one and single crochet all through the next row. You can see that the heart is already taking shape. For the fourth bobber row, single crochet in the first 18 stitches. After completing 18 single crochets, work a bobbin. Single crochet in the next 7 stitches and work another bobbin. Now single crochet until the end of the row, chain 1 and single crochet again all through the next row. For the 5th bobber row, we will single crochet in the first 17 stitches. After you single crochet at 17, you work a bobble stitch. Single crochet in the next 4 stitches Work a bobble single crochet another 4 and work another bobble Now single crochet until the end of the row, chain 1 
chain one and single crochet again all through the next row. And our heart is nearly done. For the 6th bobby row, single crochet in the first 17. Once the 17 single crochets are done, work a bobble. Single crochet in the next three and work two bobbles separated by a single crochet. Single crochet in the next three. Work another bobble and then single crochet until the end of your row. Our heart is nearly done, single crochet the next row and I will show you how to bobble the 7th bobble row to finish the heart. For the 7th bobble row, single crochet in the first 18 stitches. Once the 18 single crochets are done, work two bobbles separated by a single crochet.
So we work the first bobbin, single crochet, and work the second bobbin. Single crochet in the next three stitches once again. Work two bobbers. Single crochet in between our last bobbin for the heart. Single crochet until the end of your row and our heart is done. Now to create some space before starting the mountain word, we will single crochet in the next row and then I will change my color. Do not chain one but join the new color and single crochet the next three rows in using the new color. Then we will start our first bobby row for the word mom. Once you single crochet the three rows in the new color, we will start our first bobber row, but this time I will be showing you how to work the bobbles in another color. So single crochet into the first five, but then I will leave the fifth single crochet unworked. Yarn over with the new color and pull it through. Put the strands of yarn in front of your work, work the bobble in the new color,
Then before we pass the yarn through the 5 loops on the hook, I will yarn over using the first color. Pull through the 5 loops, pull the tail and now single crochet in the next 9 stitches. I will leave the ninth stitch unworked, join the new color. Yarn over and pull it through to change my color. Make a bobble stitch. Change the color back before pulling through the 5 loops. Single crochet in the next 4. Leaving the fourth unworked, join the new color and make a bubble. Since I need to work three bubbles next to each other, I won't need to change the color for the single crochets in between. So single crochet, a bobbin, single crochet once again and another bubble Change back the color, single crochet in the next 4. Leaving the fourth unworked, change your color once again. Work a bobbin.
Sing Your Crochet in the next 9. Change your color and work a bobbin. And change the color back and single crochet until the end. And single crochet all the way through the next row. If you'd like to hide the strands of your new color, you may work around them when single crocheting the row. For the second bobble row, for the word mum, we will single crochet in the first 5 stitches. To change the color, you may either grab the string and pass it across the pendant, or else, my preference is to cut and rejoin the color. If you choose to not cut it, make sure not to pull it tight as it will lose the panel's shape. Work a bubble in the new color. Single crochet in the next 9 stitches and work another bobbin. Single crochet in the next 3 stitches
a bobbin. Single crochet in the next 5 stitches. Work another bobble. And single crochet in the next three stitches. Another bobbin. Single crochet in the next nine and you work your last bubble. Single crochet until the end, chain one, and single crochet all the way through the next row. I will now show you how to work your third bobbin row. For the third bobbin row, we will single crochet in the first five. Work a bobbin. Single crochet four, work the next bubble. Single crochet four again. Work a bobbin.
single crochet in the next three stitches another bobbin single crochet in the next 5 stitches a bobbin And single crochet in the next three. Work another bobbin. Single crochet in the next four. A bobbin. Another four single crochets. And the bobbin. single crochet until the end chain one and single crochet through the next row For the fourth bobber row, single crochet the first five stitches. Work the first bobbin. single crochet the next three make two bobbles without changing the color in between
single crochet three more and work a bobbin. Single crochet three work another bobbin Single crochet in the next five stitches. Another bobbin. Single crochet another three a bobbin. Single crochet three once again. Work two bobbles without changing the color again. Single crochet three and the bobbin. Single crochet until the end. And the fourth row is done. Chain one and single crochet the next row. For this design, I will now resume to creating the bobbles in the same color as the panel. Therefore, I won't need to change the color anymore. You may opt to keep making the bobbles in the new color, or you may not even introduce another color at all. 
for the fifth row single crochet the first five make a bobbin single crochet in the next two a bobbin Single crochet three, work another bubble, single crochet two, bubble. single crochet the next three stitches a bobbin single crochet in the next five A bobbin, single crochet the next three, work another bobbin. single crochet in the next two stitches a bobbin single crochet the next three Another bobbin, single crochet in the next two, another bobbin. and single crochet until the end chain one and single crochet the next row then I'll show you how to work the sixth bubble row For the 6th row, single crochet in the first 5 stitches, 
work two bobbers, single crochet in between and crochet the second bobber. Single crochet to the next five. And work another two bobbers. single crochet three times work a bobbin single crochet five times work another bobbin now single crochet another three Work two bobbers, single crochet into the next five. Work another two bobbers. single crochet until the end chain one and single crochet all through the next row And then I show you the seventh bobber row. For the seventh row, single crochet into the first five and make a bobber. Now single crochet 9 
make another bobbin stitch single crochet 3 and make another bobbin single crochet in the next 5 and make another bobbin single crochet 3 and another bobbin single crochet into the next 9 stitches Work another bobbin single crochet until the end. This was our last bobbin stitch. The word mum is also done. Single crochet all through the end for 3 rows total and fasten off. Our front pillow is nearly done. I will now cross stitch the terms EST together with the year 2021 for a newbie mama who has her first Mother's Day. I will pin down the middle I will pin down the middle and take each single crochet as a box when I cross stitch Make sure to always cross stitch in the same direction for a neater look. The front panel of our pillow is done. For the back panel, you may either repeat this and have a two-way bobbled pillow, or as, as I did in my case, I will now show you 
single crochet a back panel having the same number of chains to start and the same number of single crocheted rows. For the back panel, you may either repeat this and have two-way bobbled pillow or else, as I will now show you, single crochet a back panel having the same number of chains to start with and the same number of single crocheted rows. You can refrain from cutting the yarn strand and use it to single crochet the pillow close. Or as in my case, I will use a different color to single crochet the two panels together. Pin the corners together and since the panels have the same number of rows and chains, you should be able to single crochet easily through the corresponding stitches. Place the panels together and single crochet all around the pillow.
stitch into those little holes in between the rows for the hook to pass through easily. Once you get to a corner, you will single crochet three times into the same stitch. Then keep single crocheted around until you have just one side left to single crochet. See that the panels are aligned exactly and try to not miss any stitches. single crochet halfway through stuff your pillow with dacron or polyfill or any type of stuffing you'd like to use Once filled, single crochet through the last stitches to close off our pillow. Fasten off and weave the tail. Then move the stuffing around to give it a better shape. Thank you for watching. If you're a mother yourself, I wish you a wonderful Mother's Day surrounded with your loved ones. Until next time, bye guys!